Hey guys, I am Gautam and welcome to GKMix. In this video, I am going to talk about, you can understand from the heading. So, I know most of you know about it. But in this video, I am uh, going to add something extra. That's why I am making this video. So, I will give you such kind of examples. Uh, by solving those kind of examples, you can solve any other questions regarding RS nomenclature, right? So, there are two types of systems. We can give RS nomenclature, right? So the first system is organic compounds having stereocenter. That is the system which has chiral centers. Okay, so what is chiral centers? The one center that uh, that has carbon atom, the carbon atom center with which the four different groups are attached. Okay, that's, that center is called chiral center. And another kind of example, another kind of system that has no stereocenter. That is, there is no chiral center, but we have to nomenclature as R or S. So we have to generate uh, chiral center. So let's talk about the first case that is having chiral center. So we are considering one example and the first example is like this. So here ethyl group, this is ethyl group, this is methyl group, this is bromine, this is hydrogen. So to give nomenclature, first you have to draw this by Fischer projection. And how to do it? you just have to consider first the above and below group. So what will be the above and below group? So above and below group will be the group which are on the same plane. That is, this is above, this is below. So this ethyl group and methyl group are on the same plane. And in the structure, you have to draw in this way such that these two group, above and below group towards the right or maybe left. And this is important that the this group, ethyl group and methyl group, that is the groups which are on the same plane. These two groups have to be on the nearly towards the above or nearly towards the below. So you can see the ethyl group is towards the above and the methyl group is towards the below. So that is why we just consider, we will just consider this towards the above and methyl, methyl group towards the below as it is. So, okay. So now next coming to uh, left and right side group. So first we just need to consider the group uh, which is in the below side. So below side group is hydrogen and it is towards the right so that is why we just need to consider it towards the right that is why here it is hydrogen and the above group will be opposite to this system so here it is towards the right so actually it will be towards the left in the feature projection okay so now so next we just uh, give it numbering so the numbering will be uh, based on priority so priority means the system which has much more weight you can say much more molar mass but in honors you can use as the much more atomic number right here so you have to see the directly attached system the directly attached atom towards with the this carbon atom so here bromine here carbon here carbon here hydrogen so bromine will be one next here also carbon here also carbon of course carbon has much more uh, atomic number than hydrogen so carbon carbon both will cancel then as it is methyl group then it will uh, come hydrogen from here the most uh, highest atomic number atom is of course on another carbon that is why it is 2 and it is 3 and of course it is 4 so now we have to go 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 so 1 2 3 right here it is clockwise okay so first general you just need to know the general formula that is if it is clockwise then it should be r if it is anti-clockwise it should be s but there is conditions what are those conditions if after determining the clockwise or anti-clockwise rotation you just need to look at to the hydrogen atom that is here the fourth or lowest priority atom here it is hydrogen atom so the lowest you just look if if the lowest priority atom is on the horizontal line right this is horizontal line this is vertical line is on the horizontal line so the nomenclature will be opposite to what actually comes out okay so here uh, r here we can get clockwise rotation that is it should be r but as the lower priority hydrogen atom as it is on the horizontal line it should be s okay so that is why it is s Okay, so next coming to another example. Then the next example, it's quite different.
okay so we just need to draw it in the fissure projection so towards the above similar case there will be cn there will be ch3 this is below towards the right that is ch2 and h2 and finally this is h so you may think that both c c c next coming to n n next hydrogen so this and this there will be competition so here also c and n and here also c n but extra hydrogen is added right here so you may think that this will be one and this will be two actually this is not true here there is a trick the trick is suppose c n it it's look like this and c h2 n h2 is totally saturated sorry n h2 so so if there is multiple bond then then you have to consider phantom atoms what are phantom atoms phantom atoms phantom atoms mean you have to write these as single bonds of course all the systems as alkene like systems so for this if there is sec double bonds so for one pi bond there will be one single bond here and one bond here for second pi bond there will be one bond here one bond here so you have to write for one pi bond nitrogen atom like right here carbon atom right here sorry and also same is true for second pi bond nitrogen nitrogen atom right here carbon atom right here so now you have to put this system in the place of cn so now we can easily see that this system is has much more uh, priority than this so this will be one this will be two and finally this three and this will be four so one two three that is right here that will be that should be r but as the lower priority that is the hydrogen of course this may not be hydrogen but here it is hydrogen the lower priority is on the hydrogen line that is why the priority will be s okay so this is common and finally you have to look at the lowest priority, lowest priority group or atom so for, based on this you have to consider r or s nomenclature right so next to coming to the another example that is quite different okay so it's just a cyclic system so we just rotate it like this towards the right so we will get sorry this will be hydrogen and this will be ch3 and finally 1 2 3 1 2 3 right here and this does this doesn't mean that you cannot rotate like in this way you can easily rotate in this way and final answer will be same so any 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 direction rotation is acceptable okay so let's talk about this kind of example and now we have to draw this system as fissure projection okay now the fissure pose in fissure projection this is one this is two one two three four another four bond one two three four like one two three right here and this will be below group that is towards the right that is ch3 that will be ch3 here and hydrogen right here so here also same trick is true that is phantom atom, phantom atom addition will be occurred so here in case omitting this double bond we will get this carbon atom right here this carbon atom right here okay so this car this is carbon this is carbon this is carbon next coming to carbon carbon okay then this carbon has much more weightage because this is one two two carbon addition but with this carbon one carbon addition that is why it will give this is this will be one this will be two this will be three and finally this will be four so one two 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 three one two three you need not to consider four during uh, rotation so it is it should be r but same case is here the lowest priority is on the horizontal line that is why it should be s i hope i can make you understand uh, about this type of this three type of example if i believe if the uh, if we understand these three examples you can do anything with this r and s nomenclature right so next coming to another example that is organic compounds that has no stereocenter that is you have to generate the chiral centers right so there are two types of systems aline and biphenyl systems which don't have any stereocenters but you have you can generate chiral centers or stereocenters so let's take an example from aline so let's take example like this so 
so from here you just need to consider the whole double bond system as one center okay so so how do we make this as a stew center for this you just need to consider the system and you just need to look at the system right here why right here why from this direction because it's a rule that you have to look at the system from that direction in which the two groups attached with the carbon atom this main system that are on the same plane that is above that is below but these two are normal line that is these two groups are on the same plane so you have to look at to the system from that direction so if you look at the system from that, that direction this will be right this will be left okay and this is above this is below this is common so just draw the Fischer projection formula and then just right there is right group that is hydrogen left group that is methyl and from here the above group is CH3 towards the this is above this is below so CH3 and this is A it's quite common right so now you may think that CH3 CH3 HH this is not chiral center but you have to think it as a chiral center how do we give the numbering so to to give the numbering you just need to consider first the horizontal line not the vertical line just horizontal line so between two atom between two groups this will be one priority one this will be priority two next you have to consider the vertical line so this will be priority three and this will be four like previous one don't no need to go to one two three you need not you just go to two two three just only so this is two this is three this is like anti-clockwise that is why it is s no conditions will be applied here okay such as the lower priority is on the vertical line or horizontal line no condition is uh, necessary so just anti-clockwise that is s clockwise that is r so so here it is s right so now coming to another example of biphenyl system so let's take another example that is like this So, so it looks different, but the rule is same right here. So the rule you have to look at to the uh, from the direction uh, in which the two groups are on the same plane. So I want to add something here that just this is the connecting bond, and you have to look at the atoms connected to adjacent carbon atom uh, of the connecting bonds. Okay, so this, 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 and this. Not this one or not this one. Okay, I will take another case uh, just giving after giving this example. Okay, so this carbon addition, you cannot take any other atom from here. You just take, you have to take this atom, just addition to the connecting bond. So if we draw it as Fisher projection, what we will get? So we have to look at from there. So from here, this is right, this is left. So you just look at this is right, this is left. And this is above, this is below. So above, below, right, left. Right means hydrogen, left means chlorine, above means Cl, below means hydrogen. So first horizontal line, so this will be 1, this will be 2, this will be 3, this will be 4. So 2 to 3 just this. So it will be anticlockwise that is S. Okay, so now consider that here also one hydrogen is present and here chlorine is present. So what will happen? So you may think that this uh, is not possible to uh, give nomenclature uh, like R and S but here is the trick just need to consider like that like this this is these two groups are same okay so here Cl here hydrogen then you have both are hydrogen so here hydrogen here hydrogen so above is hydrogen this is above this is below so with the above hydrogen you just have to consider the chlorine toward in the first parenthesis if there is another chlorine right here so these two chlorine will be cancelled each other but as there is no chlorine right here so there is one chlorine only here so you have to consider like this because this side is has much more weight as i have already said so that is why this will be one this will be two and this will be three and this will be four so this will also be s Okay, so this is all and 
i hope you can understand the the all kind of system if no please comment below and also you can comment on the facebook group so that it will be much more possible to me to give you any answer right so uh, one thing so if you are not a member uh, on my facebook group so you can join there by clicking the uh, link uh, given in the description okay so just you, you may join there where you can ask your queries you can ask uh, you can help each other and and over there i give some mcqs type questions or any other questions so that you can uh, you may practice right there okay that will be helpful for your jam or other kind of msc entrance examination right so thank you thanks for watching